baseball right now against the Detroit Tigers in an exhibition game. And I'm curious if they're okay weather-wise here, Kevin, tonight. Well, it looks like there could be a few stray downpours, but I think most of us are going to get through the evening rain-free. That said, there are one or two downpours offering a little heat relief out there this evening, but they are few and far between to be found. Let me show you how radar is shaping up right now. In fact, the strongest downpour is over in Ripley County and in Southeast Indiana. There's still a severe thunderstorm warning out for that, but I'll be honest with you, I'm no longer seeing any severe characteristics at all with this particular storm. It might have had a little bit of hail with it earlier, but at this point you're probably going to get some loud booms of thunder, heavy rainfall for about 15 to 20 minutes in Versailles, maybe a wind gust of 40 or 45 miles per hour. So again, I suspect this warning about ready to be dropped or even expired here at any minute. So again, this storm having weakened well below severe threshold, but still cranking out some lightning right there around Versailles. So as far north as Osgood as well, these storms aren't moving much. They're more or less drifting. So yes, you'll get a good soaking out of that there in Ripley County. The other downpour over here near Amelia, we've been tracking this one out of Campbell County has crossed the Ohio River here now and about to head over 125, maybe staying just south of Batavia, but another brief shower is possible. I think the majority of us are just simply going to have to sweat this one out this evening. There's not a lot of hope for widespread showers and storms, so we'll keep the chance at least for a downpour for a few neighborhoods through about nine o'clock or really sunset and then temperatures slip down from the 80s into the 70s. Again, I think for a lot of us, it's a dry and warm evening. We've got plenty of muggy air in place around the area at the moment. There is a storm center out near the Mississippi River tonight in Illinois that will slide our way Wednesday and likely bring us our best shot at seeing widespread showers and storms for the week. You can see the very muggy air that's in place with those dew points solidly around 70. So yes, it's steamy now. Tomorrow should be an equally steamy day. Then we'll gradually watch the humidity begin to take a dip heading into the end of the week and the weekend. So bringing it back downtown right now on this sultry Tuesday afternoon, 89 degrees officially at the airport. Got a little breeze out there out of the southwest. As hot as 92 in Mason and Hamilton, 91 in Springboro, Batavia at 90, 92 in Walton, 95 in Dry Ridge, where you've had those downpours in Indiana. You're in the upper 80, so a lot of us would appreciate a little cooling relief. I think Futurecast is way too aggressive with the coverage of downpours this evening. It won't look like this, but we'll We'll keep them going, a few of them at least anyway, till about 9 or 10 o'clock. Generally quiet overnight, although I won't rule out a straight downpour. I really think we're going to have to wait until after lunchtime tomorrow for widespread showers and storms. In fact, I think nearly everyone gets in on at least some rain tomorrow. A few of the storms could be on the strong side as well, and then they'll fade away as they typically do once the sun goes down. So dry for a lot of us tonight, but we'll keep the chance in there for a couple of downpours. Steamy day tomorrow with scattered storms around 90 for a high. Heat indices up there between 95 and 99 again. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Scattered storms are in the forecast through Thursday. And I'm still eyeing Mike and Cherie a dry opening evening, which should be a little more comfortable too, with a little dip in the humidity. So that brings a dry start to the weekend before more scattered showers and storms returning just as quickly on Sunday. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. All right, so I mentioned it before weather there. Yeah. I'll